Hey guys, in this video I will share complete details about Chartam Yatra. Chartam Yatra is the most important Hindu religious path in the Himalayas of Uttarakhand state. They are Yamunotri, Gangotri, Kedarnath and Badrinath. If you are planning for Chadam Yatra then watch this video till the end to know details like how to reach, how many days required to complete this trip, where to stay, total budget, what are the sightseeing places you can cover in this entire trip. Chadam are accessible only for 6 months that is from May to October throughout the year. This region becomes inaccessible during the other half of the year due to snowfall. Before going, you have to check opening and closing dates of Chartham temples. We started Chartham Yatra from Haridwar in the month of June. There are regular trains available from all parts of India to reach Haridwar. Nearest airport is Jolly Grant at Dehradun. Number of days required to complete this trip is 10 days. We were total of 13 people so we hired a tempo traveler for this trip. Based on number of people you can hire vehicle. If you are looking for package then in Haridwar there are travel agencies which arrange this package trip. You can go there and book the trip. On day 1, we started from Haridwar and drive towards Barkot via Masuri. In Masuri, we visited Masuri Lake, Kempi Falls and other places after which we reached Barkot in the evening. Barkot weather was so pleasant, we reached late evening, it was so cold and our temperature was around 6 degrees. On day 2 early morning we started to Yamunotri. Usually we have to drive till Janki Chatti. From there we have to start the trek to Yamunotri. But unfortunately there was landslide on the way so no vehicles were able to pass through. So we started to trek from that place itself. We reached a nearby village from there we got local jeep to reach Janki Chatti. It was supposed to be 6 km trek but due to landslide it became 22 km trek for us. From Janki Chetty you can either go by walk or by horse or by dolly.
There are hot water spring near Yamunotri temple so carry a pair of cloth before going. It is maintained very well there are different arrangement for men's and ladies. It will be so good to take a dip in this natural hot spring. Yamunotri temple was built by Maharani Gulariya of Jaipur in the 19th century. It was destroyed twice in the present century and rebuilt again. You can cook rice by packing it in a cloth and dipping it in hot water here. This cooked rice is considered as pratar. After bath and darshan, we started back to the landslide place. It became late night. It is bit difficult for elders, normal trek for people who are physically fit. Later we started towards Barkat and stayed overnight in same hotel. On day 3 early morning after breakfast we started towards Uttarakashi. On the way to Uttarakashi there is the Shiva temple you can visit to that temple. There is Vishwanatha temple in Uttarakashi and also a Shakti temple or just opposite to Vishwanatha temple. You can visit these two places there.
one day four early morning after breakfast we started to gangotri on the way there is a place called ganganani where there is a hot water spring you can take bath there after that you can also visit harsil valley which is very famous for its nature beauty and its mountains after that we reached gangotri vehicle will be stopped little far from the temple you need to walk to reach gangotri temple it's a normal walk there are many shops on the way it is the birthplace of river ganga you can take a dip in bagirathi river but when we went water level and speed was more so it was not allowed to take dip near the temple this temple was constructed by gorka general amar singh thapa in the 18th century it's After darshan and spending some time we started back to Uttarakashi.
On day 5, uh, we started from Uttarakashi to Gupta Kashi. It's uh, around 9 hour journey to the complete one day journey. So on the way, there is a temple, Ardhanari Shur Temple in Gupta Kashi. You can visit that. On day 6, we started from Gupta Kashi to Kedarnath. Early morning, driver dropped us to Son Prayag. Then from there, we have to take local jeep to reach Gauri Kund, which is starting trek point to Kedarnath Temple. We reached Kedarnath Temple in the evening and we stayed overnight there.
Kedarnath is one of the 12 Jyotirlinga of Lord Shiva. It is situated against the backdrop of majestic Kedarnath range. Kedar is another name of Lord Shiva. According to legend, the Pandavas, after having won over Kaurava in the Kurukshetra war, felt guilty of having killed their own brothers and sought the presence of Lord Shiva for redemption. He abused them repeatedly and while feeling on being followed, he divined into the ground, leaving his victim on the surface. The remaining portion of Lord Shiva appeared at four other places and are worshipped there as his manifestations. Kedarnath and the other four mentioned shrines are treated as There is another detailed video about Kedarnath track. You can check that for complete details about this particular place. Link is in the description. On day 7, we started to descend. We reached base of the trek in the afternoon and we went back to the hotel at Guptakashi. On day 8, we started towards Badrinath and again it is a complete day journey. On the way, we can visit the many temples and sightseeing places.
Badrinath is one of the ancient four dams. It is situated at the side by the two mountain ranges known as Narnarayan with the towering Nilakanth peak. We reached Badrinath in the evening and went to temple for Darshan. There is a Tatkund which is a hot water spring you can take part there. Day 9 we went to Thakkun for bath and then visited Bhadrina temple again. After breakfast we started to Mana village which is India's last village. There are many places to visit in this village like Ganesh Kupa, Vyas Kupa, Sarasati river birthplace, beautiful. There is another video about Mana village, link is in description. You can check that to know complete details about the place.
the way we visited Adi Sankaracharya Ashram at Joshimath, then Lord Vishnu Temple. And we visited Dev Prayag where the river Alakananda meets Bhagirathi and form Ganga. You can see two rivers which are different in color joining here. On day 10, we started from Rudra Prayag to Haridwar. This is the last day of our trip. On the way, we visited Rishikeshi, which is named after Lord Vishnu. We can visit Lakshman Jula, Ram Jula, and uh, we went back to Haridwar in the evening.
the list of hotels we stayed there are many other options for stay you can book before going or you can go to the hotels and do direct check-in if you are taking package then they will only arrange for your stay so for us it costs approximately 13,000 per person for this entire trip from Haridwar to Haridwar If you are looking for package trip then you can go for package and they will only do all the arrangements. 